Hey everybody, John Losh here, your friendly neighborhood Losh man for Losh man's baseball cards number 30 and little John Fogarty center field for you here today. It is uh, Monday, uh, March 23rd, 2000 and, uh, thir- two, uh, 2020. I'm sorry, Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Uh, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Okay, and uh, welcome welcome back to Washington's Baseball Cards number 30. Uh, since we've gotten started here, and today we are going to break. This is actually take two for this uh, particular video. I uh, tried doing this one day last week, had some technical difficulties, and it wouldn't upload to uh, YouTube, so we're trying to get in here. Um, and today we're going to break this uh, box-style pack of 1989 Donruss Traded Edition. Uh, now, the 1989 Donruss uh, original baseball set, according to CardboardConnection.com, is best known for the hunt for Ken Griffey Jr. rookies. Um, it had 660 cards. It had a, a few uh, insert sets, such as MVP cards, Grand Slammers that had 12 players with one in every pack, and uh, Diamond, Diamond King Supers. And the puzzle for the uh, main set is Warren Spawn. Um, well, the uh, puzzle for this one is uh, Stan Musial. Okay. So, uh, and this is a 56 card set, according to uh, a. Um, Sorry, according to uh, tradingcarddatabase.com, uh, this is a 56-card set, which is all here. Um, that includes the uh, puzzle and the um, uh, ins- the uh, checklist card. And so we're gonna we're gonna break that today. Um, we're gonna start off the, with the Stan Musial puzzle right there. Okay. And of course, we're all waiting for baseball to get back to being baseball again with uh, everything that's going on right now. I'm actually home on paid leave from my current job uh, because of the uh, coronavirus. I don't have it, but uh, uh, just, you know, some companies are taking precautions and that type of thing, which is, is a situation in our case. Um, so anyway, uh, starting off, card number one, uh, T1, is Jeffrey Leonard, an outfielder for the uh, Seattle Mariners. Jeffrey Leonard, outfielder, Seattle Mariners, card number T1. Card number T2, Jack Clark, first baseman for the San Diego Padres. Card number T2, this is 1989 Donruss traded baseball again. Card number T3 is uh, Kevin Frank, or Kevin Gross, I'm sorry, Kevin Gross, a pitcher for the Montreal Expos. Kevin Gross, a pitcher for the Montreal Expos. I guess his middle name is Frank, so it's Kevin Frank Gross. Okay, so I was right about Frank anyway. Um, Card number T3, uh, Kevin Gross, pitcher for the Montreal Expos. Uh, Card number T4 is uh, Tommy uh, Herr. And uh, and uh, he's a second baseman for the uh, Philadelphia Phillies. He also played for the St. Louis Cardinals as well. And uh, card number T5 is a former Kansas City Royal, uh, not only player but uh, also uh, manager for the Kansas City Royals, uh, Bob Boone. And uh, that is card number T5, and this is going to go in my Royals card, so it's going to get set aside. Uh, card number T6 is uh, Rafael Palmero, outfielder for the Texas Rangers. Outfielder for the Texas Rangers, Rafael Palmero, card number T6. Uh, card number T7, John Dobson, pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. And this is what the back of the cards look like, by the way. Oops, I got it up, upside down. The back of the cards look like, uh, by the way. So it's got uh, the uh, stats on here for 1985, 1986, 1987, and 1988, and then career overall at that point. Um, on the back here, um, talks about how they were acquired, um, traded by the Expos to the Red Sox, 12-8 of 88 with uh, shortstop Luis Rivera for shortstop Spike Owen and pitcher Dan uh, Gackler, it looks like. Um, so anyway, this card is uh, card number T8, uh, Willie Randolph, and he's a second baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Okay, card T- number T8, Willie Randolph, uh, second baseman for the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Next card, Chris Brown, third baseman for the Detroit Tigers, card number T9. Chris Brown, second baseman for the Detroit Tigers, card number T9. Next up, Wally Backman, uh, second baseman for the Minnesota Twins, card number T10. Wally Backman um, with the uh, uh, Minnesota Twins, card number T10. Next up, Stan Ontivero, Steve Ontiveros, pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. Steve Ontiveros, pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies, and he has card number T11. Next up, Eddie Murray, first baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers, and card number T12. And Lance McCullers, uh, pitcher for the New York Yankees. Lance McCuller, pitcher for the New York Yankees. He has card number T13. Again, this is 1989 Topps Traded Baseball. Uh, next up is Spike Owen, uh, one that was mentioned in that trade earlier uh, that I mentioned. Um, he is a uh, shortstop for the Montreal Expos, and he has card number T14. Rob Murphy, pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, is card number T15. Rob Murray, pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, is card number T15. Pete O'Brien, first baseman for the uh, Cleveland Indians, is card number T16. Pete O'Brien, first baseman, Cleveland Indians, card number T16. Ken Williams, outfielder for the Detroit Tigers, is card number T17. Ken Williams, outfielder, Detroit Tigers, card number T17. Nick Asaski, first baseman for the Boston Red Sox, is card number T18. Nick Asaski, Boston Red Sox, first baseman, card number T18. Nolan Ryan, the Texas Express, uh, pitcher for the uh, Texas Rangers, is card number T19. And that was getting set aside there because uh, he's going to go with my cards that I'm eventually, I, I'm eventually, I, I've started a series on here. Most of you know, as you've been watching my videos so far, I've normally only done a series with like one card at a time and mentioning the stat, the information on that set. I'm trying to get to the point where I'm doing all the cards I have for each player. Um, no matter what kind of, what brand of cards they are, what year of cards they are, showing all the cards they have for a particular player and then sharing their stats and, you know, that type of thing. So um, he's one of the ones that, along with Eddie Murray there, that's going to be uh, one of my uh, sets that I'm going to be doing. Uh, Brian Holton, pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles, is card number T20. Mike Moore, pitcher for the uh, Oakland Athletics, is T21. Joel Skinner, catcher for the Cleveland Indians, is card number T22. Steve Sachs, second baseman for the New York Yankees, is card number T23. And is another that I'm going to be doing um, uh, a video on showing all the different Steve Sachs cards I have. So he's getting set aside. Rick Mailer, pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds, is card number T24. Mike Aldretti, outfielder for the Montreal Expos. Mike Aldretti, outfielder for the Montreal Expos, is card number T25. Jesse Orozco, pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, is card number T26. Jesse Orozco, pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, T26. Dave LaPointe, pitcher for the New York Yankees, is card number T27. Walt Terrell, pitcher for the San Diego Padres, is card number T28. Eddie Williams, third baseman for the Chicago White Sox, is card number T29. Eddie Williams, third baseman, Chicago White Sox, card number T29 out of this 1989 Donruss traded set. Uh, Mike Devereaux, outfielder for the Baltimore Orioles, is card number T30. Mike Devereaux, outfielder, Baltimore Orioles, card number T30. Julio Franco, second baseman for the Texas Rangers, is card number T31. Uh, Julio Franco, um, again, second baseman for the Texas Rangers, is card number T31. Jim Clancy, pitcher for the now notorious Houston Astros, not back in this day, but right now, uh, is uh, Jim Clancy, uh, pitcher for the uh, uh, Houston Astros, is card number T32. Uh, Felix Fermin, shortstop for the Cleveland Indians, is card number 30, T33. Felix Fermin, um, shortstop for the Cleveland Indians, card number T33. Curtis Wilkerson, infielder for the Chicago Cubbies, card number T34. Curtis Wilkerson, infielder for the Chicago Cubbies, team card number T34. Burt Blylevin, pitcher for the then California Angels, is card number T35. Mel Hall, outfielder for the New York Yankees, 
is card number T36, Mel Hall, outfielder, New York Yankees, T36. Eric King, pitcher for the Chicago White Sox, T37. Mitch Williams, pitcher for the uh, Chicago Cubbies, is T38. Mitch Williams, pitcher, Chicago Cubbies, T38. Jamie Moyer, pitcher for the uh, Texas Rangers, is card number T39. Jamie Moyer, T39, pitcher for the Texas Rangers. Rick Roden, another one of the uh, players from the now notorious Houston Astros, but, but not back in this day, is card number T40. Rick Roden, pitcher for the Houston Astros, T40. Uh, T41 is uh, Phil Bradley, outfielder for the Baltimore Orioles. Phil Bradley, outfielder, Baltimore Orioles, T41. Phil Kilgus, pitcher for the Chicago Cubbies, is T42. Milt Thompson, outfielder for the St. Louis Cardinals, is T43. Jerry Brown, second baseman for the Cleveland Indians, is T44. Bruce Hurst, pitcher for the San Diego Padres, is T45. Claudel Washington, outfielder for the then California Angels, T46. Todd Benzinger, first baseman for the uh, Cincinnati Reds, is T47. Steve Alboni, first baseman, also former Kansas City Royal, but right here for the New York Yankees, is T48. Steve Alboni, former Kansas City Royal in uh, Yankees uniform. Otto B. McDowell, T49. Uh, is another one. Uh, he was an uh, outfielder for the uh, the Cleveland Indians. Also played with the Texas Rangers. Is also getting aside, gets, getting set aside. One of the ones I'm going to be doing a set on. Charles Hudson, pitcher for the Detroit Tigers, is T50. Ron Kittle, designated hitter for the Chicago White Sox, is card number T51. Ron Kittle, DH for the Chicago White Sox, T51. Andy Hawkins, pitcher for the New York Yankees, is card number T52. Andy Hawkins, pitcher New York Yankees, T52. Tom Brookins, infielder for the New York Yankees, T53. Tom Needenfewer, pitcher for the Seattle Mariners, is card number T54. Jeff Parrott, pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies, is card number T55. Jeff Parrott, pitcher, Philadelphia Phillies, T55. And then, of course, we have the checklist card that has all 56 cards, 26 on the front, and the other 26 on the back. Okay, and that is card number, 50, well, it doesn't say T56, but it's card number 56 out of the 56 card set. So that is the 1989 Topps Traded Baseball set for you. And hope you're having a great week. Hope that uh, this year and uh, even despite of this virus and everything that's going on because of it, that you are serving the Lord Jesus Christ in every part of your heart, mind, and soul. Uh, if you don't have a relationship with him, I invite you to accept him and to receive him as your personal Lord and Savior. Uh, there's no more important decision you can make uh, for now or for eternity. Um, you know, J John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Uh, you know, we're all born in sin, thanks to what happened in the Garden of Eden. Romans 3.23 says, for all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. That's you, that's me, that's everybody. None of us are perfect, never will be the side of heaven. We cannot earn our salvation. Ephesians 2.8.9 says, for by grace you are saved through faith, but not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Now, salvation, once you receive him, will have works simply because he gives you this new heart, new mind, this desire to be in his word, be in church, be in prayer, be in service to him. You can't help it. It's just, it's natural. It's as natural as getting up and taking that first breath every day. Um, uh, but uh, Romans uh, 3.23 says, for all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death. And that's not just the physical death of this body, but that is eternal separation from God in a very real place called hell, unfortunately. Um, you have to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he came here to forgive us of our sins. He was born of a virgin, lived a perfect sinless life, was falsely accused, falsely arrested, beaten to a bloody pulp, and then eventually hung on the cross of Calvary and died for your sins and mine, shed his blood on that cross as the one and final perfect blood sacrifice for us. But thankfully, after he was laid in that tomb, he rose again three days later, and he's seated at the right hand of the Father. So I love you. God bless you. Hope you're having a great time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And God, beloved, if I don't see you here, I'll see you in the air. I'll see you next time on Lost Man's Baseball Cards.